Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm doing kind of my annual update really is what it is on the Bauer tool system that I bought. Now this time I'm doing like pretty much a full on review of it. I don't know that I'll do another one next year. So in this video, I'm pretty much just gonna review the system in that I'm gonna talk a little bit about things that probably don't get talked about as much, like everybody wants reviews on the tools themselves. We're gonna cover the chargers, the batteries, the available tools, the warranty, and maybe one other two things I'm think not thinking of right off the top of my head right here. So we'll just start first with the batteries. And I think what I'll say very first is just exactly what my experience has been with all the batteries that I have. Right now I have one five amp hour, uh, four, five, six, somewhere in there, three amp hour batteries, I think closer to six. And then maybe four or five of the one and a half amp hour batteries. I have every battery I've ever purchased. I have had no batteries fail in the two years that I've had them. And here's the trick. If you are having issues with your batteries, it's because you're leaving them out in the cold and the worst thing for them is to have them uncharged out in the cold. If you can help it, you need to take them inside in more of a constant room temperature environment. And that goes for all power tools. It doesn't matter if you're in Milwaukee, DeWalt, Makita, Ryobi, Bauer, Craftsman, Cobalt, doesn't matter. These lithium ion batteries need to be in a more stable and warm environment. So I'll just go one by one and talk about these. This is the one and a half amp hour battery. It's a slimmer battery. And I would stay away from buying these. If you get them in the kits, like you buy the impact uh, quarter inch impact driver, or you get the half inch drill driver or hammer half inch hammer drill, I'm saying half inch, that's a truck size. That's fine, but I would not purchase any more than that. Getting them in the kit, I think you're almost getting them for free than if you bought a separate charger and battery uh, along with the tool. So, and buying just the bare tool. So it's worth it to get into those kits, but outside of that, stay away from the one and a half amp hour batteries. I mean, they'll power or every tool I guess but like the the angle grinders just about useless to plug uh, one of the one and a half amp hours into those some of the other tools the circular sock struggles maybe a little bit more with them and there's just other tools that they don't work as well for but for the less demanding tools like the drills and the impacts they do good you are still going to get more power with the three amp hour batteries though so this is my three amp hour battery they are the same size as the five amp hour batteries at least in terms of the case now, uh, I do get pretty good power out of these. They work okay with the angle grinder. They work all right. They're the minimum that I would buy. I'd probably pick up a number of these and the number of the five amp hours, but the three amp hours are good. They power every tool I have um, to reasonable performance. Then I do have one five amp hour battery and uh, the five amp hour, I definitely do notice again, a little slight increase in performance when I use or plug in the five amp hour batteries to some tools. We're supposed to be getting a 12 amp hour I just saw on the Den of Tools last night. Someday that'll come out. Of course, there's been tools that we saw probably almost a year ago leaked that uh, at least for the core of this power tool system that I don't think we've seen yet. So at this moment in time, we have two chargers. We have the rapid charger, which is actually the slow charger. And then we have the fast charger, which is, as it says, the fast charger. I think it doubles charging speeds almost right across the board. I could be wrong, but I even made a video about this. I'll, I guess I'll put it in the link in the description below if you wanna go uh, fact check me. But I'm pretty sure that the fast charger was almost twice as fast if not maybe uh just took 75 percent of the time it was anywhere from 50 to 75 percent of the time as the uh, standard rapid charger now it would be nice to see maybe even a faster charger i don't know the fast charger is okay but maybe more like a charging bank where you have like four chargers set up into one deal now i wouldn't necessarily need something like that to be honest but I could definitely see why, especially if somebody's using these in like a trade of some sort, why they may, might want something like that. Four chargers combined is more convenient than having four of these chargers and having to carry around and deal with them all together. So I do have four of them. I don't know that I'd spend my own money on one of those, but I know that it's something that a lot of people do like and probably could use. So I guess I would have to say that I don't know that this fast charger is even as fast as some of the uh, bigger name brand chargers. Like the standard charger for the Milwaukee tools that I used to have, I'm pretty sure that it charged those four amp hour batteries quicker than this uh, fast charger charges my three amp hour batteries. And it does pretty good. And admittedly, it's a 
I think $25 or $30 charger compared to a Milwaukee charger that if you were to buy it by itself is like a, I don't know, $75, $80, $90, $100 charger or something like that. I don't remember anymore, but significantly more than one of these. So one thing I'd like to really address in this review is just overall quality of the entire tool line. So I've kind of already covered it, the, the batteries. I've had comments saying that people have had trouble with the batteries. That's probably the thing that I've had people say they've had the most trouble with on any video that I've ever made talking about Bauer tools. They'll be like, the tools are good, but the batteries are junk. I'm not sure where they're getting that. Like I said, I, I think that they're probably leaving them out in the cold where they're getting ruined because uh, the batteries, I haven't had any issues with. The chargers, as far as quality goes, there's not a lot to say about them. I haven't broken any of the casing or the plastic around the electronics. They've been totally fine, no quality issues with the chargers. So really where we're getting to is the quality of the tools in general. So I don't wanna talk about all the, or any tool really individually, but if I was going to like try and grade these tools in terms of quality, I'd probably give them right around a B. You know, if we're saying that uh, Milwaukee is our A tools, uh, grade A tools, or DeWalt and Makita, you could plug in whatever your favorite uh, professional line of tools is. For me, I like do like the Milwaukee stuff, even though I sold it off. It's what I'm familiar with or most familiar with. When comparing it to that, you know, if those are our A grade tools, then these are probably B grade tools. Maybe maybe even like low B tools. More or less what I'm basing that off of is just that I literally had those five or six Milwaukee tools and I used plenty of them regularly. Uh, I actually did have a couple issues with M12 tools, I will mention that. Uh, but as far as the M18 tools go, um, I was a plumber and I regularly, regularly used that Sawzall while cutting out tree roots to get to uh, leaks and pipes underground or also just cutting pipe. Often it was way easier to cut a uh, large diameter copper pipe that we were installing into wherever it was and for whatever reason. And we'd use those Sawzalls. I mean, I got them a little bit wet and a little bit damp here and there, and they always just kept kicking. So um, the drills I had for, I don't know, six or seven years before I sold them, maybe not quite that long, but uh, it was like at least five or six. So of all the M18 tools, I didn't have any of them break. M18 all worked fine, flawlessly really, and they were all the bare bones basics. I didn't have any feel version of any of those tools. And they all worked for five years. I've had these Bauer tools and I've used them for less, and I have had a couple of issues. I had a clutch issue on one of the drill drivers that I have, and then I also had that uh, quarter inch impact that I made a video on, pretty much seize itself up and I, I was able to fix it and I'm using it again and I'm still, still able to use the drill driver, but I do use these considerably less. As a plumber, I wasn't always using drills or my quarter inch impact. In fact, not super often really. I do use these Bauer tools considerably less and I have had a couple issues in less time. So that is something to mention about them. They are not top tier quality tools. But here's the thing that I think really makes up the difference. I think it really, really makes up the difference. And that is how much these tools cost. Now I might get a comment on this video because I've gotten other comments on other videos saying that I'm lying about that and it's just simply not true. It is simply true that these Bauer tools are considerably less than the Milwaukee tools. The most basic Milwaukee tools, a lot of these are a third less if not even a quarter the price of a lot of those Milwaukee tools. And again, I'm using Milwaukee as the example, plug in Makita or DeWalt if that's your favorite. They're significantly cheaper. And so for a lot of these tools that I just use really, really infrequently, where I'm paying extra for really the warranty, definitely some quality for sure, but where I'm mostly paying extra for a warranty, three-year warranty, five-year warranty, most of the Milwaukee tools are five-year warranty as far as I know, it's pretty much pointless because I guarantee that the vast majority of these tools, maybe one might not even break again for all I know. So I haven't complained about the warranty of these Bauer tools in the past, and I think that there is definitely some fair criticism there. I do wish Harbor Freight would slap about a one-year warranty on these things, and the answer I got for the reason why they don't is just simply they'll just charge more for them to cover that warranty, and that's understandable. They're giving us pretty good prices on these things, and for a lot of these tools, a lot of these Bauer tools, had I paid the extra for the two-year warranty or whatever, then I would have just been out the money or had they slapped a two-year warranty on the tools 
from the very beginning and didn't offer it to you extra, you know, and just made up for the price and the cost of the tool, I would have never used it on the vast majority of these tools. There is, I think, one, I think that impact, I would have gotten just the very end of it. And I could have swapped it out for a new one. But it also only cost me 40 bucks to just completely replace it. And then I fixed it and it's still working. So just something to keep in mind. These tools are not the highest quality, but for the price, I think they're a really, really good value. And if you consider the price in them, I think that they're a low A or a high B. So maybe one last rant here before we wrap up this video, and that is just the availability of tools. You know, if I wanted to slap a grade on this, I'd give it an A. The Bauer tools, what they're coming out with, I mean, maybe in the very current time it's a B, but what they're supposed to be coming out with, it's, it's going to be a really, really solid tool line. This stuff's the best because I can buy so many different tools in this Bauer tool line that can help support me in whatever I'm doing in that little hobby farm. That's my ultimate goal. I've got 10 acres. That's what I hope to do with it. You know, there's all kinds of tools that for this, you know, 10 acre property I have, I'm going to be able to use. And of course, I'm not going to use them in any kind of a professional setting. So I don't need the best quality tools out there. I just need the availability of tools and the affordability to buy a lot of tools so that I can tackle various tasks and all kinds of different things. So uh, that's kind of really a long way around to talk about some of the tools that are out that I think are a pretty big deal and some of the tools that are going to be coming. They're just really coming out with some of those really niche or specific task tools that a lot of other like really cheap tool brands don't have. One fair criticism of this tool line is that there's no brushless tools available. And partly I think who cares? It's not really a line of tools where you need the best quality brushless tools. But at the same time, you know, I do think we need a brushless angle grinder because uh, we're just not really quite getting the performance we probably should out of some of those angle grinders, not some of them, the standard angle grinder that they have with the brush motors. So it's going to be nice to get something upgraded in that. And I definitely plan on uh, picking one of those up. And so those brushless tools, I think we've got a couple of them already. And I think that there's plenty more on the way. So even though that might be a fair criticism, I think, you know, give it a little bit of time, one or two more years. And I think we'll have a good set of brushless tools for this cordless tool line. So anyway, guys, I think uh, just to wrap this video up and summarize the Bauer tool line, it's for real. It's probably more best suited for DIYers. Is it the best? No, it's not. And I think I've never said that. I've never claimed that any of these tools were the best tools. From what I do know about them, they're decent quality tools and are absolutely a good value for the price you're paying. But anyway, guys, really appreciate you watching. I know this was kind of a long rant video, but I think it is worth it just to cover, you know, I've had this tool line for two years. I've had most of my tools for two years and they're all solid, good quality tools. And then it's a great value when you consider the price. So thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you in the next video.